<laughs> no idea what numbers I pressed then. <laughs> it might have gone to the overhead. It might have gone over here. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. How are you all? I hope you're all okay. I hope everybody is well. Uh, happy, happy Tuesday. Um, it's, uh, it's been a bit colder today. It's the most beautiful, beautiful weekend, but it has gone a bit colder now. Um, but the sun is trying to come out this evening, so hopefully it'll be a nice day tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you're all okay. Hi, Holly. Hi, Anne. Uh, I know we're doing a seven o'clock today. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. My asthma is really bad. The pollen sets me off, so I'm a bit chesty. So <coughs> I cough when I talk, um, which isn't good for me because I know I never stop talking. Um, Sarah Jane's on holiday this week. She's um, away, so can't, couldn't do the one o'clock. So we said we'd do it at seven o'clock this evening. Lindy Lou's in with me tomorrow, though, so I will do a one o'clock tomorrow, but there won't be anything on Thursday because I'm back in the shop by myself. So um, we're just doing the two day. It is definitely a bit cold today, isn't it? Hi, Melba. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Natalie. Hello, my darling. Um, <coughs> oh, please don't misbehave just because I've got to talk now. <coughs> Give myself a good cough. Get it out of the way. <laughs> um, Lizzie, you've got your tickets to Sandown. You're so excited. I know. We'll see you there. That's our next show, which is in like three weeks' time, something like that. We're, we're going to be at the Sandown show. I think it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday show. If you haven't been before, apparently it's lovely. It's a really, really good show. We haven't done it for about six or seven years. We did it right back when we first started, but we haven't, it's just clashed with stuff and we've not had a chance to do it. So we thought we'd give it another go. Uh, hi, Marilyn. Hi, Mary. Hi, Carol. Hello, darlings. Everyone's coming online. Um, we're going to have a play tonight with a new product that we've been given to play around with. Uh, Sue, what's that? You've been cold all day. Sun's just coming out now. Indeed it is, yeah. Hi, SJ. Oh, are you home now, lovely? Cool. Uh, hope you had a nice time down at the Mumbles. She, uh, her and Dave went down to see their son, Danny, uh, down in the Mumbles for a couple of days. Hope you had a nice time. I did get a picture earlier of her on a beach. So, well, not her on the beach, but they were on a beach. Uh, it looked lovely. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Hello. So, um, <coughs> we've got this new product, which I'm going to talk to you about. And then we're going to have a play around with it and see how it works. Because I've not played with it yet. So, we're going to do it live with you. So, you're getting a really honest review of what it's like and how it works. It looks very, very cool. And I think it's going to really, if it, <coughs> if it works how I want it to, how I think it's going to, um, it's, we're going to do a bit of a bit of sort of scrappy quilting on it and, and see how it works. Um, <coughs> it was lush. Good, good, good. I'm glad, love. Uh, hi, Sarah. How are you? Lovely. But before that, oh, I'm so sorry. My, <coughs> my asthma. Give me two seconds. Let me see if I've got an inhaler here. I did have one in the drawer. Yeah, I did. I'm just going to, sorry, guys. I'm just going to take a quick quick pump because the pollen sets my asthma off something terrible uh natty you're going to spold in on saturday you don't need any fabric honest well you never need any fabric excuse me two seconds oh i think this one might be empty i think i've got an empty one damn it oh no there's some in there hang on sorry i'll be able to talk to you then right we're going to give that a go we're going to go to the overhead hopefully that'll just stop <coughs> ease it up a little bit I'm gonna to go to the overhead it's ridiculous I, my husband doesn't play it for ages and ages and ages and then suddenly the um oh right hang on it's frozen two seconds let me just reactivate it a second uh camera to deactivate let's try this oh we're working now yay <laughs> sorry it's frozen for a second but I've managed to get it back going hi Grace how are you so these came into the shop these are so pretty. So for those of you who loved the Gustav Klimt stuff, this is also by Robert Kaufman. It's called Jeweled Leaves. We have three of the Fat Quarter Bundles. We have, I think, only six of the Jelly Rolls. And then we've got 10 or 11 of the Charm Squares. I'm going to show you this. It is metallic. It is more expensive, a bit like the Gustav Klimt stuff was. It is more expensive, but that's because it's digitally printed and metallic. So you get these beautiful, crisp, crisp colours. But look at these fabrics. They are just unbelievably gorgeous. I don't know. Can you see these guys? Let me try and do it this way for you. Can you see that shine of the gold? It's the most stunning. Look at, I mean, look at that one. Look at the colours on that. So these have come in. I have put them on the website. They're not 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 particularly cheap, I'm afraid, guys. The charm packs are going to be 
but it's because they're digitally printed. Um, but the, can you see the, I don't know if it's doing it justice, the richness on these fabrics are unbelievable. When the rep showed us these, Sarah and I were like, oh my goodness me. They're just unbelievably gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Um, the, they are the same price as the Gustav Klimt, so it'd be $19.95 for a charm pack, $44.95 for the jelly. Can you see the colours in that? And then we've got just three of the fat quarter bundles. You've got 27 fat quarters in this. I'm just going to flick through this one. Can you see? I don't know if you can see if it's too far away. It's it's just incredible. The, the colour on it is beautiful 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 they're 175 pound for the the fat quarter bundle which i know is a lot of money but sometimes a girl needs a treat frankly and this is definitely a treat it's just stunning so have a look on the website they're on there and they are wonderful they're absolutely yeah you need a, <laughs> yeah i knew you'd go ooh sir do you remember when janich brought them in we were just like oh my goodness me the, the colours are amazing, absolutely amazing. They really are. They're awesome. Hi, Karen. How are you, darling? Um, so, yeah, we've got just a few of them. We never get a lot of this stuff in because it is expensive. But I just, I want to play with this charm pack. And I, you know, I'm not a rainbow girl normally, but it's just beautiful really really beautiful stunning designs have a look on the website you've got more images on there so you can see them a bit better than just me flicking through the camera but they're there so i just wanted to show you them um <coughs> so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a place so um oh what's the dog doing the dog's doing something can cause a nightmare out there lovely bright colors they really are so this is a brand new type of batting that has come over from america it's called birdie bird batting again it's not particularly cheap but it's oh, it's very clever from we're going to play with it tonight and we're going to we're going to do a block and we're going to you know see how it actually quilts and stuff because i wanted to give you a completely honest view of it um i've put them so we, we can basically we're not going to keep them in the shop but if you want one, they'll only take um, two days to get to us and then we would post them out so you'd get them within the week. What it is, it's 100% cotton wadding, okay? So it's not an 80-20, it's a full 100% cotton, which you know is a little bit more expensive. But it's already got on it a flannel, 100% cotton flannel back in to it, all stitched with 100% cotton thread. So it's completely cotton which you, you know is brilliant for baby stuff and all that kind of thing you know the idea is that you do not have they say you do not have to pin or glue oh i'm frozen again aren't i what's going on it's frozen hang on hang on let me just why is it just doing it on this one let me just try deactivating reactivating again there we go. It's again. Oh, why is it doing that? How strange. Maybe I, I might need to buy a new webcam. Maybe this one's playing up. Um, I thought you were catching on what you missed earlier in your life. I am live, Cheryl. Hello, my lovely. So, yeah, sorry, guys. We're back. So, <clears throat> it's 100% cotton wadding with 100% flannel backing on it. Okay, so it's pre sewn onto it, basically. It says that it's absolutely perfect for you can tumble dry it, you can wash it. It's already pre-washed for you as well, so you get a lot less shrinkage. You still get a little bit of wrinkling, but you won't get that lots of wrinkling if you don't like that that technique, you know, that look. Um, and you don't need to pin, you don't need to pin or glue it at all. So what I thought we'd do is I'm gonna cut a piece to make a big block basically, and then we can put those blocks, I can put those blocks together and we'll make a project bag or something. But we're gonna we're gonna road test it, okay? So they sent us these pieces. They come in a twin size or a queen size. So hang on, let me just come back over here a second, guys. So the twin size is 92 by 74, and then the queen size is 94 by 108. So they're big, big pieces of wadding. You know, they're, they're, they do big old quilts. Um, they've obviously just sent us some like sampley bits, you know, off, off the off the rolls they you know these are just little bits but i thought we'll use a scrap pack we'll do some scrappy quilting on it see how it quilts um but the idea is because it's got flannel 
you can we can just put a background fabric on this and not have to pin or baste it and then you can put your quilt top on the this bit and not have to pin or baste it and you just quilt so let's see if it lives, lives up to its uh, its name <laughs> you thought it was me no lovely it's not you it's not you it's um it's us where we were frozen this one camera is playing up this is one that kept freezing for set it's done it again has it done it again no 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 it hasn't it's fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off a piece so i'm just going to make a square basically just so we've got a piece that we can play around with so i'm just going to do that to that like that just to make a square and this could then you know i could use this in anything a bag front or you know anything i mean obviously you would i'm doing it a small piece so that i can get it under the um under the camera and we can actually play play around with it and let's just straighten that up a weeny bit let's go that way to that way and just straighten that up oh no it's straight oh it's straight enough because i'll 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 square it up before i use it anyway so the idea is that on the flannel okay we're going to put a piece of backing fabric which i've dabbed that down and now i can't find it i brought a piece with me big piece over let's just use here we go let's use this that's not what i was going to use but this will do so your idea is is that you can just lie your backing fabric on your quilt like that smooth it on the backing fabric on the straight onto the flannel and then now i've dug my scissors down where are my scissors gone oh good grief there they are all the way over there <laughs> i'm not having a very good day am i <laughs> and then so you would just smooth your backing on you don't need to pin baste glue anything okay it sticks to the flannel right like that and then you would put your quilt top on the top and quilt into it okay now i thought well i haven't got anything small enough to go onto this but we could do a bit of mile a minute in with some strips i've got a scrap pack here that's left over from some demo in so why not let's just do some really simple strip quilt in and see how this works so i'm using one of the moda scrap packs and i'm going to just put that over like that and because it's flannel i mean obviously you use wadding for design walls we know that the fabric's going to stick to this okay and, and stay in place but with that flannel it's supposed to like adhere to here now thinking about it i'm not sure because this is beautifully soft if you wanted a white background i've frozen again aren't i oh what is going on sorry guys i'm gonna just keep shouting at me if it freezes okay i don't know why it's doing it there we go back again but i can see that it's frozen again yeah sorry i really don't know why it's doing it um <clears throat> because it's got the flannel already on it you don't even really need a backing fabric because it's white and I think when they were telling us about it, they were saying you could dye it as well. They, they tried to dye in it and it died. But, you know, it, it taken the dye quite well. So we're going to try it, as they say, with the backing fabric. And then we'll try quilting a bit without any backing fabric and see what the flannel looks like too. Apparently, it's all 100% organic as well. So it's organic cotton. So we're just going to have a little go at quilting it without any basting, pinning, anything. I'm just going to do... One of these really simple, strippy, modus, modus um, scrap packs. We're going to do that and that, like that, chop that off. Okay. Now, because we're using it like mile a minute, like Jane Taylor, I am going to put some pins in just to hold, because obviously this fabric's not going to adhere to the other strip, is it? So let's just pop a couple of pins in there, like that. And we're going to stitch down quarter of an inch, okay? So I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it, guys. We're going to, we're going to try. So hopefully I'm over here now with my, look at my beautiful, look at my beautiful machine. Isn't she lovely? I do love her very much. I sewed for about eight hours yesterday and <coughs> I had such a good time. <laughs> no, I'm very lucky on this new Benina. There is a dual feed on there, so I don't need a walk in, a, a walk -in foot at all. I can just stitch to my heart's content i am going to up the stitch length though if i can remember how to do that is that that one there yes so i can go up to let's go up to three and a half let's go up to three and a half four there we go okay so just up my stitch length 
I have I named her? I still haven't named her. She's uh, she hasn't spoken to me yet, love. She hasn't told me what her name is. She will though. Oh, there we go. But I have to say, I love, love, love the jewel feed. I made a whole quilt yesterday and finished off some bunting and finished off about 12 blocks from the quilt, uh, you know, the new quilt along. And the fact it's got the jumbo, um, what's the word, the jumbo bobbins, I only changed the bobbin once with a, with a quilt and a half. It was brilliant. And the jewel feed just gives you the most beautiful beautiful stitch i'm completely obsessed absolutely obsessed with her so there we go i'm just gonna pull this out just line that one back up here we go so we've done this method before you know if you want something really quick and simple you can absolutely do a bit of, bit of strip piece in and then put you go them together the blocks there we go okay so I'm going to take this over and we're going to have a look at that first line of quilting and see what it's like. So have you not frozen? Uh, just sorry, I'm just going to wait just a second, make sure she's not frozen. Oh, no, she's not frozen. There we go. So I've just sewn those two on straight through the wadding and the backing and the flannel. And then we can just finger press that out. There we go, like that. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to flip it over. Let's have a look and see what this back in it oh oh well that's nice can you see how nicely that hasn't moved at all i mean i know this is a smallish piece but that's a really nice neat line that backing fabric has stayed put let's try another couple let's just do another couple and we'll then what i'll do is i'll do another bit without some backing fabric on and we can see what the flannel looks like to see if um because actually, because it's such a beautiful, you know, lightweight, um, her light is nice and bright over the large area. It is. It's very, it's really, really nice and bright, the um, the LED on that machine. It's fabulous. So it is a little expensive. I will, I will be completely honest with that. It is a bit expensive. I think it's 50 something pound for the twin size. And then 60 something, I can't quite remember. It's on the website. Have a look at Birdie Birdie, Birdie Bird um what 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 did i've put it on the website i can't quite remember what the prices were but if you haven't got to buy back in fabric if you're just going to use the flannel and for 100 percent cotton actually we'll do it like i said we'll put another couple on this and see how it goes and then we'll do a couple with just the flannel and see how it quilts on the flannel if you have if you're not having to buy back in fabric and you can just use the flannel that would save you like 30 40 50 quid wouldn't it so is that your machine that is that i don't think so her and i don't think it's just my machine because it would it's still gripping really nicely on the wadding oh i could get my old machine out we could try it on that as well but i what i'll do is i'll take the jewel feed off for the next one let's take the jewel feed off and try that shall we because you know i want to try and give you a really is she better than your 1800 q Yes, she is, darling. Absolutely, a thousand percent. I loved my, you know, I love my brother, and she she did me proud, and I still, you know, still think she's a fantastic machine. But this is, she hasn't got a patch on this one. It's a completely different different kettle of fish. So I've just disengaged the um, the jewel feed. So let's see what it's like without the jewel feed, and then that's basically just like a normal sewing machine then. Um, it was things like yesterday when I was using using the new one. When you get a bit where you've got a lot of seams, you know, all like all together. I had a load of fat um, half square triangles, so I had like four, and I had a thickness there. You know, and normally, even when my brother, you know, in her absolute prime, she would still have struggled a weeny bit to get over that, and you'd have to kind of go, "Come on, love, get through." Um, this one absolutely sailed through it. I tried, I had a real good play on it yesterday um, and put thickness through it. I like bosal and extra pieces. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks, Sean. Perfect. Thank you, darling. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, well, we'll see now. So I've taken the jewel feed off. But yeah, I mean, you know, I love the, the Brother 1800Q. She's a brilliant machine. Um, but she's not a patch on this one, I have to say. 
I have completely fallen in love with this one. <laughs> you know, you know, you hate your brother. You don't hate your brother. You don't hate your brother, sir. However, if you want to uh, upgrade to a Benina, I can highly, highly recommend it. Lovely. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Over we go. So let's just push that one out. So really simple quilting. OK, and what I'm going to do is I'll actually do some quilting on top as well. So as if this was a, a quilt, um, you know, quilt top. But let's have a look at the back. No, that hasn't shifted at all. That's really, really stayed nice. Oh, I'm quite liking this stuff. This is very, very clever. I mean, I know I've only done two lines, but you can see there's no, sometimes you get a little bit of like puckering, don't you? Sometimes, even if you've glued and basted it really well, but that's, that's lovely. That's come out really nicely. Let's try another one. Let's try one more. I'll put another strip on and then what I'll do is I'll stitch into this again. Um, oh, I should have put, I was gonna say, I, I should have set it up so I could do some free motion on it as well for you. But um, that's not going to be an option tonight because we haven't got, I haven't got the thing here for it. Uh, the BSR, it's um, in the front room. I was reading the manual on it last night. So it does come as standard with the BSR, this machine too. God, I just sound like a complete sales tactic. I'm really not. I'm just very, very enthusiastic about her. <laughs> so there we go. Like that, like that. Um, it looks really, I, it really is. Without the back in, it should be a lovely soft feel to sleep under. Yeah, I think it will, Karen. What we'll do is I'm going to put another this line down and then I'm going to do another little square without the backing fabric and see how it quilt, how the, how it looks on the flannel for you. Okay. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's not particularly cheap wadding, but then for 100% cotton wadding, you're going to be paying 18 19 pound a meter for 100 percent cotton and then you'd put your backing fabric on wouldn't you which is going to be you know i mean don't get me wrong with there's lots and lots of really cheap ways of doing it you know duvet covers fleeces all sorts things like that but the fact that it's already attached and all it'd be lovely if you're doing like really quick if you needed to make really quick present or something wouldn't it if you had that flannel already attached so i'm just going to go down this one Take that pin out and then what I'm going to do is just do another, what I'll do is I'll do a zigzag or something on it just to, just to see how it reacts to not straight line quilting as well. Okay. I must admit, what Benina did I get? I got the B, the 570 Quilters Edition hun, which I am completely in love with. She is fantastic. It took me, I needed a full day of proper playing with her. Because I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure at first. But I have to say, after yesterday, and I was like eight hours on her. I'm in love. Totally in love. Right. I'm going to do a light, just a little line of straight line through. So it's like you're quilting through a quilt top, not just attaching. So we can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to do, I'll just do a zigzag or something so we can see um, how it reacts to. Oh, no, I've got the wrong foot. I can change the foot. It's fine. Um... No, I can't because I've got to, oh, I'll change this to the plates as well really quickly. There we go, all the way down. Let's just see how it reacts to. Just like if you were quilt, a straight line quilt in it. Okay, right. Okay, I'm going to very quickly just change the foot and change the plate, okay? So, hang on, there we go, foot off. Let's change the plate over as well. Now this I'm not as used to. I've got to get that off like that. Oh, I've got a lot of fluff in there already. Let me put the other plate back on. However, no screws on the plates, which are amazing. It's like all magnetic. So you just snap it in like that. Plate's changed. And let me put the big foot on. Where is it? That one there. So I can do the zigzag. And that foot goes in like that. And then the lever goes down. There we go. The foot's changed. So let's pick a zigzag. Let's pick a zigzag. Is that a zigzag? Hang on. Oh, sorry, guys. I've just got to change the foot. So this is the 1D. It's got a stylus, but I've been lazy and I prefer to use my finger on the touch screen. Uh, 1D. Where is it? There it is. That's the one there. Okay. So is that the zigzag stitch? Is that a zigzag stitch? No. 
that one. Oh, hang on. Uh, now I've got to remember which the zigzag is. I think it's that one. Um, why have I, I know, hang on, sorry, I've got to change the plate as well. I've got the normal plate on, there we go. It wouldn't let me do it because I had the other plate on. There we go, got it now. <laughs> right, let's just do a little zigzag on this wadding as well. Oh, let's just do it across the seam. Just do a little bit and see how, whether that quilt, that backing stays in place. There we go. A little bit of a zigzag. Well, that was very clever of her. She wouldn't let, she, because I hadn't told her that the other plate was back on. And let's just try, I don't know, any sort of decorative stitch. Let's just do, oh, hang on. Oh, I don't know where they all are yet. Let's just put, no, 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 no. Sorry, guys. Um, back to there. I just want something like those, don't I? There we go. Just something like that. Let's put a decorative stitch in there as well. Just, just really test that backing fabric. See if it moves at all. There we go. That'll be enough, won't it? Just to stop it. You have the straight stitch for mine, but it's all screws. Yeah, I loved, uh, yeah, the way you just ping, ping like that with the plate. It's unbelievable, sir. Love it. So, just done a, a straight line stitch there. I did a bit of a zigzag and then a little bit of decorative stitching. Let's flip it over. Oh, no, it stayed nice. You can see it stayed really, really nice. You've got decorative there. So that was you know, a good bit of manipulation. You've got a little tiny bit of movement here. Can you see you've got a little bit of movement? But that's probably because that's a very, very, very tiny zigzag. You wouldn't normally do that for quilting, would you? But that decorative stitch there, you can see I've just done a big cross. Um, that hasn't pulled at all. So, so far, I'm really loving this batting. Really, really loving it. I think that's worked really, really well. So what we'll do is we'll just try another little piece, um, but without the backing fabric on, and we'll see what the flannel looks like. Yeah, it's, it's nice, isn't it, Eileen? I'm loving this. I think this is a fantastic product. I was a bit wary because of the price point, but do you know what? I would, I'd go for it. And I, I have to say, this feels beautiful. It really does. That is butter soft, that flannel. It is, like I said, it's an organic 100% cotton and it is absolutely butter soft. Um, so, let me just go up there. I'll just chop a piece off. Like I said, they just gave us these bits to play with just to test it really and see what will work for them. Um, I'm going to have to do the same again. I was thinking if I got like an orphan block or something around that I could put on. But I don't think I have, guys. Um, got a random little orphan block. Ah, I know what we can use. We can use this one. This is the block we're going to do tomorrow. This was the subscription block, but this is the block we're going to actually do tomorrow, this one. This little illusion block. Um, I could use that one, couldn't I? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, yeah, this is a little preview. This is what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, butter soft. It is. Well, you know when... Are you going to stock it? Yes, we are. It's on the website. You can already... Hang on, let me come back over here. Lovely. Lynn, hi. Um, we are stocking it. So, it's already on our website. You can order it. It will take a, few, a couple more days to come out because we can't... Um, we can't keep a lot of stock in the shop. Basically, what I'm gonna do is like twice a week, I will ring them and they will just send us any out. So it'll take maybe four or five days to get to you rather than normally we try and get things out straight away, don't we? But you can already order it online now, okay? It's already there. Um, yeah, butter soft, Sarah. I think that's, you know, when you, when you, the butter's perfect for toast, you put your, your, um, your knife in it, it just goes, ah, oh, like that, that lovely ah sound. That's how, that butter soft, that's what it feels like. So, no batting, nothing, no, no basting. I'm just gonna leave the flannel on the back, that block there, like that. And we're gonna quilt this one now, okay? We're gonna quilt it and see what happens to the, the flannel. So let's go back to normal stitches, back to there. That one, please, thank you. And it's, <laughs> it's remembered. So, let's just, let's really, you know, test this a little bit I'm going to go round and then a little bit of um, stitching you know so manipulate it a bit and see what happens I'm going to go down like that 
So I'm just using the edge of foot on the edge of these blocks. Oh, hang on, if the foot, there we go, there we go. So I haven't got it set for quilting, so I'm still learning all the settings on it. Go. Giving this some. So, what have you guys all been up to? Anybody done anything interesting? Anybody done anything? I'm just going to go around the outside of this. Okay, you're going to have to put up with me just for a second while I go around the outside. Let's get rid of that jelly roll that the strip that's there and see. See how it how the flannel looks like what the flannel looks like once it's been quilted I mean you've got some lines down it already where it's already attached to the what's the word attached to the wadding directly but I really want to see what this is like when it gets quilted it's, it seems to be holding the block nicely there's a little bit of movement I think you might have to just be a bit careful that you'd have to really press your block I think I think I'd block you know really starch it and press it I think before I put it on but I'm absolutely thrilled with this I think it's fantastic there we go nearly there just working my way around and then we'll have a look and see what the flannel looks like with the quilting. Nearly there. Okay. And then off the end here. There we go. So just whipped around that block. Okay. And then we'll come back over here and I'll show you show it you. So oh yeah no that's that's quilted nicely. Yeah. I mean I should have probably put a, uh, can you see it on camera guys? I don't know if you can. Um, let me see if I can just move this light a little bit. Get it right over the top. There we go, let's try that. Um, that's quilted like an absolute dream. There's no puckering or anything in that. Obviously, you know, you could then quilt. It does say on the instructions, you can quilt up to 10 inches apart, which because it's already got this quilt in here, between, can you see that on the back of the back of it, it's the flannels already quilted into the the wadding um you don't have to quilt as much it says you can quilt um you can have a 10 inch gap between which is basically the here to here but it'd be great for free motion as well wouldn't it it does look really nice didn't it yeah uh what's that show you had to call the emergency gas um number you had a gas leak indoors oh no oh bless you oh i hope everything's okay darling hope you're all, all right now and yeah it's held it's moved a little bit it has moved a little bit there. I think with my quilt block, my quilt top, I would absolutely starch the bejesus out of it and really smooth it down and maybe I wouldn't stick it. It doesn't need to stick in. I mean, it's sticking beautifully to that wadding. It has moved a little bit, but then I've done that very, very quickly. So that might be me. Um, it probably is me, to be honest. So, um, oh, hang on, just go reading some of your questions. Um, what's that? So I said, you've been trying to kill myself with walk back off for a silly bay and taste tested uh, Verdi's ice cream and Joe's ice cream. Which one did you like the best, sir? Which one did you like? <laughs> um, so I think that's, sorry, coming back over here. I think that's probably all I've got to say about that. All we, all we can really do. I, I quite like that as a product. Do I think it's worth the extra money? Yeah, I think I do. I think if I was just going to use this as my backing fabric and leave this beautiful, beautiful flannel on the back, it's not going to be any more expensive than buying backing fabric and wadding. In fact, it's actually going to be a bit cheaper, I think. Um, Joe's 100%. Oh, OK. Fair enough. What flavour did you have? I think you've got to, I think you have to test ice creams with vanilla because a good, if an ice cream to do a good fit for me, good vanilla then you're fine you've succumbed you've ordered <laughs> i i i don't blame you lynn i really don't i think that i would i might try putting this just on or piece of it on daphne as well and seeing how it long arms how it deals with free motion but this is really very tactile the flannel 
I don't think, and I mean, unless you really didn't want a white background, be great for a baby's quilt, it really would. It, that would feel beautiful, really, really beautiful, you know, for to cutch up with a, you know, a baby as a baby blanket or a play mat or something. Um, if you don't mind a white background, I'm going to try dyeing a piece as well. I'll try dyeing a piece and see. I've got some, um, I've got a dial on in the cupboard. I'll see what how it dyes as well and see whether it takes the colour. They do say it does. If you don't mind white, I think this is worth the money. Absolutely. And I wouldn't put a backing fabric on it. That feels amazing. That would be beautiful to sleep under. It's very, very tactile. Beautiful for a lap quilt. If you're, you know, cutched up on the sofa or, you know, in the summer evenings you just need something over you a little bit it has done exactly what it said on the tin definitely it's held it really nicely it's not moved at all um and actually if you do want to put a backing on is it worth the money if you're going to put a backing on yeah, possibly i mean if you're just doing really quick charity quilts then maybe not maybe not i would just go with a normal wadding and spray based it but if you're doing something special for yourself or something, diet with tea. Oh, that's a good idea, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, that's a really good idea. Be good for applique as well. Yeah, yeah, that might be nice. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna keep these bits and carry on playing with them over the weekend, maybe, and see, see about. You know, I'm gonna try having a bit of a dye with it. I'll try a bit of free motion on it. I'll try, you know, um, uh, applique as well and see how it takes it. But. Yes, I like it. I like the product. Uh, thank you, uh, EQS, for giving us some samples because I think that's definitely worth it. If you're based on your own, it's ideal. It really is, sir. Uh, it really is. Uh, where's the manufacturer? No, they're an American. Man they're American, um, Birdie Bird. Um, I believe that um, we're one of the first people to have it in this country. Um, not many people. Uh, EQS have, um, who are the Liberty wholesalers and everybody, and they get a lot of our fabrics from. Um, they are they're stocking it, but they're the only stockists in this in the UK. Um, and I think they've given a, a few samples out to a few people, but not many people are, are taking the risk. Thing is, with the with these lives and everything, we can give it a good go, and you guys can give us your honest opinion about it. So, but yeah, it's Sarah's right actually. It's brilliant if you're based on your own because you haven't got a, you know, you wouldn't have to like try and get on your knees and baste for ages and everything. You could just put it on a kitchen worktop, smooth it down roll that bit up smooth again roll it up because you haven't got to worry too much so so anyway that's enough rabbiting for me my darlings um we're going to do a block tomorrow um so a proper bit of proper sewing tomorrow <laughs> not just me tested out nonsense um it is on the website if you want to go for it like it could you repeat the name of the fabric from earlier oh these ones han these beautiful beautiful ones they're called jeweled leaves but it's spelt J-E-W-E-L-E-D. It's spelt the American way. It's called Jeweled Leaves. Okay. Um, it's This is in the Fat Quarter Bundle section. This is in the Charm Pack. And this is in the Jelly Roll. Okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really... In fact, it's a good job, Sir Jade. It's not in this week. Isn't it lovely? Because uh, she would be, she'd be squirreling one of these away. She'd be like, no, 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 that one's mine. That one's all mine. It's the colour here. You can't, honestly, the colour on the screen that I'm looking at, it's nowhere near as vibrant as, come over it. In the, like, in the real life, the colour on it, it looks really dull on screen. But in real life, the colour is unbelievably vibrant. It's possibly one of the prettiest ranges I've seen in a very, very long time. I'm, I'm just, yeah, obsessed with it. I think it's gorgeous. It's like opulent and jewel tones and yumminess. It's just yumminess. And the gold is such good gold. But that's that's what you get for digitally printing stuff and having metallic on digital printing. You get much, much crisper, crisper ideas. It's mine. It's not yours, sir. No, no, no. You can't have it. <laughs> Your mother had a little drool over it earlier, to be honest. <laughs> I was unpacking it and getting on the website and your mum came in for a cup of coffee. Uh, sorry, you have to see, excuse me, my boobs are half hanging out there. Um, she had a proper little drool, drool over it. So, but yeah, there's not much of it because we don't order a lot in. Uh, interesting to be interested in new products. Ah, oh, that's very, my pleasure, Karen. Yeah, it's, um, 
it's new to us as well so it is on the website if you'd like to order any has Taryn seen it I don't think she has love I don't think she has <laughs> you is there you leave her leave your mother alone <laughs> um I haven't seen Taryn say hello so nobody will have seen it <laughs> um it's stunning though have a little look it's you can see there's better pictures online of it go on our website and have a look um so I hope you're all okay anyway I'm gonna go and um feed my kids now well they should be able to feed themselves frankly um they are uh Josh has gone to a running club which is a new thing for him he's never been a runner but he's joined a running club so fair play to him um and Alex and Tom I uh, will just want pizza or something so I'm gonna go and grab something out of the uh, out the freezer for him frankly um so I will see you tomorrow hopefully you all have a lovely evening hopefully the weather gets a little bit warmer again over the next couple of days and um I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock and we'll do a little block okay cool take care my darlings bye